I'm here to make sure gardens and their containers have not only character, but a lot more personality. Oh, look, here we go. This has personality, isn't that right? It sure is. <laughs> so, welcome to my world. Welcome everyone to Kobe's Garden Alchemy. Today, I have a very focused segment on container gardens, the potted and plantered part of my gardening world. So I've got two things I'm going to talk about. One is one of the fortes that I work with in gardening is planters. The other one is I have a focus presentation. There's actually more than one, but there's one I'm going to talk about today. So I'll make sure I get my notes correctly. Okay. The presentation I'm going to be uh, going over a little bit is pots for your troubled spots from bare to beautiful. So I have had the wonderful good fortune of, for nearly four decades in Southern California on working on hundreds of planters with clients. So from the cool coastal areas to the warmer and cooler uh, inland foothills near the mountains. Um, this presentation, I, I don't have any recorded video myself yet. Maybe, maybe someday, maybe someday. But so far, it's a, it's a PowerPoint presentation that, that I've done live or via digitally. Um, so I was able to give one last fall to the La Jolla Garden Club. And this spring, for a limited time during 2021, from March 20th to the 28th, um, people can go on to the San Diego Master Gardeners website and uh, purchase a, I guess, a pass for the weekend. Uh, they haven't done this digitally before, but there's a first time for everything. So this time they're, they're having all their presenters uh, in this Master Gardener Spring Seminar available for a week. So that's San Diego Master Gardeners website, and I'll, I'll put a little little wording up here. Um, and you have to go through them exclusively exclusively for this. Um, I don't have anything to do with this, with the sign up for that. But my presentation is on there, and I am showcasing some of the examples of my potted gardens. Like you see over here behind me, this is this has some wonderful containers on the ground and in a rack. Thank you, Sarah. If you or your organization are interested in uh, having me come to present live, if if when that time comes, or potentially digitally, please message me uh, privately, and then we can discuss that further. So you can go through my website, kobe'sgardenalchemy.com, and I will. I'll put that up also to list it. We're going to take just a little peek. The presentation that I've got is, it's about 50 minutes. So we're just going to go through it kind of briefly, a few little highlights and show some of the beautiful. So let me get the other screen. Please welcome Kobe. This presentation is entitled Pots for Your Troubled Spots, Part Two, From Bare to Beautiful. So there is a part one, that's a different presentation showing a lot of mostly other gardens. I might There might be a little overlap with some of the fundamentals of things I'm talking about, but I've had, um, oh, such such the good fortune of working with so many, many gardens. It's it's wonderful to be able to, to share one of my one of my passions. Part of why I came up for this was that there, I'm just going to kind of click while I'm talking. There are so many open bare areas that having a little, a little um, potted something added, added to it does add that little something. Here we've got a window box. or even barely frame the view. 
Um, I'm going to try to breeze through only a few of these because I can go on and on, but that would be the whole presentation. This is a little sitting area in the side patio of a home. There's just the two walls there. And when I first met with the client, it was just a tile on the ground and just stucco. And I helped change all that by adding this beautiful backdrop, something more, more lush, and it makes it much more welcoming and fresh. One of the highlights in this was a, a, a client I had for several years in several different homes. And this is Debbie Ford. And it's really nice to, to kind of pay it forward and, and put her energy forward. Debbie passed away a few years ago. And I was very fortunate to be able to work in the last home she was in. And she's in the upper, upper floor here of this building with a fabulous view. Let me see. Here is, where's my before? And when I got there, this is what was there. And you see, here's here's what I did with the planter on the end. So, this gives this gives you a really good example of uh, one of my jewel box gardens. It's just a delight to look through day to day, and you can see something different one day to the next to the next. There's a part of downtown San Diego there in the background. Let me get a longer, longer view here. I really enjoy working with containers. Here's the other side. Um, and taking spaces. Let me see, there's one more view. There's another section. That's another, another uh, balcony area. And here we've got a, a tall, rounded blue urn with succulents in it. So. I use a, a range of plants, but succulents, I tend to use probably a little more than other plants because they perform and they don't require as much care. Look at this beautiful draping ripsalis here. Here is a, a space where, this is what I, when I met with the client, they had an outside patio and some furniture and then make sure and add some some really delightful life and personality to that. Let me see. And oh, here we've got a beautiful squirrel's foot fern and then an assortment of succulents on the right. Here's a little seating area with some pots. I find the picture backdrop I have behind me here. I don't have it completely bare, I have a photo, but this is a patio area. And um, I talked with my client about making something way more interesting there than just, it's just the bare stucco wall. And so here's the same, it's the same background I've got behind me. This is an, uh, an assortment of a lot of succulents, but there's some bromeliads and orchids and there's a ficus in here and it's just helps create a little paradise background where um, to kind of go with my theme from bare to beautiful. Um, it's just kind of what we what we're able to put in there as far as containers. Here's a beautiful container where there was just when I, I started with the client, it was just lawn that uh, went right into this slate area. And although there is a garden behind the pool, I thought having a very large, large planter here to help break up the space and give it interest was very helpful. So that's what I put there. So there's a, a close up of some of the plants trailing over the edge there. There's another another planter by that same pool. I see. So, um, 
just going trying to go over some highlights. Um, I've got a few other presentations that aren't they're not quite finished yet, but I hope to have them done in the next year or two. I'm very fortunate to be able to be busy actually working on these spaces and I'm I wish I had all kinds of time to do video presentations more often, but I'm very particular about them. So this is another one about planters in the in the garden more specifically or on, on a bigger scale. Here's a before. These are previews of different presentations. It's not my not the potted one, but kind of related planters. Let me see. I've got it's another planter. I actually have a video of this. My, my, my client, um, Quinn Osborne, this is a very large in ground planter that's just foot, maybe not quite two feet tall, attached to the house, and it's like tw at least 20 feet long. Um, anyway, I've got, I've got a, a more thorough uh, video of that online already, so I'm glad to have put that out. And here's another, the space when I met with my client, what it was like before, although it was green and kind of lush, it's also kind of a mess. <laughs> so I decided to fix that. So, and here, let's show another one. Here we've got an, an atrium. And in this particular, in this particular space, I've got two. So I'm used to calling it the atria, but it, it has a, 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 its own special kind of circumstance and that's just, just not the, the open air and wind and I'd be nice to, so there's a story behind some of these other presentations. Let me see. I would be really happy to have more people be able to view some of my passion, which is potted plants. And if you're able to join in in this March, 20th through the 28th presentation or possibly have me do a presentation for your group or organization that would be just great let me see i'm going to go back to sharing let me see um so it's it's wonderful to be able to share this this my, my garden experience and my expertise with people. And so I'll be showing some advanced garden examples of container gardens. So um, I've got this presentation and another one, and there's some more garden pre presentations in, in the pipeline on um, alluringly intimate garden spaces. Let me see. Oh, let me see one other thing. I'm here to make sure gardens and their containers have not only character, but a lot more personality. Look, here we go. This has personality, isn't that right? It sure is. <laughs> so, welcome to my world where plants are fascinating and if you, if you can't grow them, it's, it's always fun to kind of take a peek Happy gardening, everyone.